When you first open the shift occupancy analysis, you'll see data for today's date, as well as three days prior and three days after. Your data set begins at the week level, so you'll be able to analyze your occupancy per week, per day, or per shift. But before we analyze our data, let's take a closer look at how the date picker works. This analysis is always viewing a week of data, so if we want to focus on April 18th, we will then see the 15th, 16th, and 17th as the dates prior, and the 19th, 20th, and the 21st as the dates after. If we want to focus on the first, keeping in mind the analysis returns data by the week, you'll also see three days on either side, spanning from the 29th to the 4th. When you're ready, click Apply. Next to the date picker, you have the option to choose what data you want as a comparison. If we look at Wednesday, April 18th, this historical line is data from up to the last four Wednesdays. The year-over-year -year comparison analyzes days over a year, so Friday the 23rd of 2018 will be compared with Friday the 24th of 2017. Once you decide on the data you'd like to analyze, whether it's four weeks at a time or year-over-year, -year, you'll be able to analyze individual days and individual shifts, as the analytics are interactive. But more on that in the next video.